What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Mario Kart. Uh, got more regionals. It's actually a small lobby. I think there's like six people in here, if you include me. So <clears throat> that's pretty cool. It's also still kind of early in the morning. So uh, I'm going to try to be a little more quiet today. But you guys enjoyed my last ranting video last time I ranted. So I got some more topics. And as you can tell by the title of this video, well, maybe you can't make it out, but we're going to be talking about uh, something that I just I just find interesting. I just feel like I feel like it's easier to rant about, especially like where it's just such a <clears throat> it's it's a little bit of like a a weird topic, but it's also it's also kind of funny because I think it's. I want to know who else like has this and let me know if you like can relate to this maybe it's not your wrist but comment down below but anyway so yeah i don't know i have like some kind of i don't know where to even start i have like this serious issue with my wrist where it's like it's it's, it's almost like a funny bone except it's like a psychotic bone <laughs> um so yeah i don't know whenever i hit it on something it like makes me feel really like almost like protective of my wrist and it's like um oh, i lost my place dang it um i don't i just like i, I start panicking because it almost feels it feels weird like it's a it's a sensitive part so i panic whenever i heard it for example okay so like this has happened this has happened four times in the last like six or so months maybe i guess it's probably been like over six months but it's only happened like four times because like the first two times after i did it i got really um protective of my wrist again and um then it happened another two times recently but we'll go we'll, we'll start with the 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 first time and then we'll just we'll go in chronological order so this was probably like around december i guess probably or no maybe it was like after december like in january something like that i don't know it was either like right before right before um winter break or christmas break or right after christmas break so <clears throat> I was going over to now my ex's house or I was like I was getting ready to go over there and so I opened my car door and I heard my wrist crack like it was loud it was a loud crack like I like I don't think it was I don't think it was something else it was definitely my, like my wrist because I felt it and I also heard it and so I like it was while I was opening my car door and so I jerked my hand back and I was like, my wrist just cracked. And I got in the car and like I just kept thinking about it. Like it like usually if you feel like a bone crack or something, like you're not gonna have that many concerns. It was like a bone popping almost. Like you know like how you can like pop certain parts of your body or like certain bones in your body. And it's like you know, you don't really think anything of it. So I like usually wouldn't think anything of it. Like if it was like my, if it was my ankle or if it was like my, my leg or like some, like some other part of my body like that, I wouldn't think anything of it. But it was my wrist and I just kept thinking about it. And I was like, I started panicking and I started like laughing uncontrollably. I don't know why I just started laughing. And then I started panicking and then I started sweating and I started feeling like I was going to faint. And then I almost started crying. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just like it was a weird sequence of like multiple things happening. And I just kind of like I didn't know if I could really go to my ex's house like that. So I texted her and I was like, OK, I just had a weird thing happen with my wrist and I'm not feeling very good. But I'm going to try to come over there. Just make sure that I'm okay. <laughs> and so I went I, I went over there and I was fine. But 
I panicked for like probably 20 minutes. And it was nonstop. I mean, I was shaky. I couldn't text anybody either. I was trying to text her. I was trying to text my friends. My family. I was trying to text everybody about this because I just felt like I needed to like really rant to people. And so, yeah, it just kind of happened. But I kind of took it as a one-off. I kind of took it as I kind of had a panic attack. Because I've had panic attacks before. And it's just kind of like, it's a thing. So I just kind of took it as, I just had a panic attack. A few days later, I am doing homework. It's pretty late. I think I, I think this actually caused me to be late on an assignment. Um... But I was doing an assignment, and now, if you don't know, my Wi-Fi is phone reveal. Not phone reveal. Uh, phone, phone mention? I don't know. Never mind. Uh, so anyway, I was like, I was doing my homework. Hello? Uh, I was doing my homework, and, um, okay, yeah, if you don't know, my Wi-Fi is really slow. So, I get frustrated about that a lot of the time. So I was trying to submit an assignment. Or not submit an assignment, load an assignment? I don't remember. I was trying to load something on my Chromebook. And it made me mad. And so I hit the table. And I realized my wrist hit the table. And I started thinking about it. I tried not to think about it. And it was too late. I got away from the table. I started pacing back and forth. I started laughing uncontrollably. I lay on my couch. I'm laughing uncontrollably. I'm panicking. <laughs> so I don't really know what to do at this point. So I'm just laying on the couch. And like, I'm, I don't know. I'm just scared, man. Like, I, I don't really know. I don't even know, like, how else to describe this. So that was another time. That, ha that sort of panic lasted for around, again, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So... Man, I'm making, like, long time. It's already seven minutes in. So anyway, so those were the first two times. So those were, like, back in, like, December, January, probably. Um, now we move on. We are in... Uh, we're, like, this past week, I had two wrist scares, is what I call them, wrist scares. And... They were both, like, while I was in Tennessee. So I was, like, I was on vacation. Like, I basically, like, kind of, like, basically, I just got off vacation, basically. Um, <clears throat> and now I'm home. But anyway, so, um, let me think of the first time. What was the first time I did it? Oh, that's right. Okay. So it was really late at night. And, um, <clears throat> I was using the bathroom and, okay, so it's dark, right? So I can't see the handle or anything. I hit, I, I don't even know how this works, man. I hit my wrist on the handle when I was going out, when I was going into the bathroom and I started panicking. <laughs> I started shaking and my brothers, they were in the living room. So I was like, hey, boys, I just hit... They they already knew about my wrist. I was like, hey, guys, uh, if I start panicking, just know this because I hit my wrist. And um, so I did. I started panicking. And I was... I was... Um, I had just called my girlfriend, like... Because, like, I don't know. I was just having that wrist thing. She knows about it, too. She wasn't, like... Um, and this is my current girlfriend, by the way. But... Um, yeah, I kind of like, she knows about it, and so I texted her, I was like, I'm panicking, and so we called, and I kind of ended up getting calmed down, I kind of like took control of myself a little bit, and it didn't last long, it lasted 10 minutes, so I mean, it was good, it was really, really good, I don't know if it was because my girlfriend calmed me down, or if it was because of, like, it just wasn't as big an issue, I didn't feel it as much, I don't know, it was really, really weird. The next day, this was terrible. Um, the next day, like the day right after that, I did it again. I got mad. 
um, at this game, actually. <laughs> I was time trialing, um, and I got mad, and I slammed my hand um, on a desk three times. One, two, three. All I guess all of them went to my wrist. And I started panicking. And my brother was also in the room. He was watching my time trial. And I just started panicking. I started laughing uncontrollably. I looked like a, psycho I, a psychotic? A psycho. Like a psychopath. And so it was like... it was re This one was really bad. And this one like hurt my wrist for half an hour like my wrist was constantly hurting for half an hour i was telling myself maybe it was broken i was telling myself i may have like bruised it things like that and so i i didn't i didn't know what to do i had to lay down on my bed and like i just kept holding on to it and so like again just like it, it's it's almost like a fear thing so yeah, I guess that's I guess that's everything. That lasted for like I would say I would say the nervousness and the uncontrollable laughing, that probably lasted for around like 25 30 minutes. But and the hurt lasted for 30 minutes. So and <clears throat> I don't know I don't know exactly like how to explain what it is that I feel whenever I um Whenever I hurt my wrist. But it's like. Um, shoot. How do I explain it? Like I might be uncontrollably laughing. But it's like. I'm not. I just got locked in on the game. I, I, I don't even know how many races I've played. Like, I've just been ranting and autopiloting on Mario Kart. Like, I just... <laughs> I haven't even been thinking about my races. I'm probably going to go back and I'm getting, like... I don't know. I know I've been getting first place, but... Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to be surprised at, like, everything. Just because I've just been on naturally autopilot. Anyways, back to the stories. Um, yeah, I might be, like, laughing uncontrollably, but it's, like... I'm more in fear than I am anything else. Like, I'm constantly panicking, like, afterwards. Like, after five minutes or so, after I hurt... Oh, wow, that was a good snipe. After, like, I hurt my wrist, like, five minutes after, I would say it, like, doesn't hurt. Or, no, wait. After five minutes... Okay, get off the game. After five minutes, like, after hurting my wrist, I would say I don't feel anything. Like, I don't feel anything on the first five minutes. But I keep thinking about it. Like, it's un it's uncontrollable thinking. Your brain just kind of goes on autopilot afterwards. Wow, the blue shell. Um, so, yeah, it kind of goes on autopilot. After that, you just start laughing. And it's not a, I think this is funny laugh. It's a, I'm scared laugh. <laughs> and it's an, I'm panicking laugh. So it like it sucks. It sucks bad. Uh <clears throat> and then like I think um what is it? I don't know exactly what I don't know what I'm panicking about cuz I know it's just like it's natural, right? Like you're gonna like I don't know. It's just like it's not something that you would think you would panic about, right? You wouldn't panic if you, like, hit your wrist on something. You wouldn't even think it's anything. So, nice first place as well. I think we've gotten, like, all first places. But yeah, I mean, it's not something that you would, like, necessarily think about and you would be like, yeah, this is gonna be bad. This is, like, gonna end terribly. I never think that. And so, like, I, I don't think that about many things. Like, whenever, like, I hurt a bone in my body or whatever. I usually take it pretty well. My wrist is a completely different story. And this is that story. Also, wrist reveal, I'm going to put it on screen right now. Because I did say 
the Duris reveal. And so there it is. All its glory. I'm going to end the video here because I don't want to keep ranting. Uh, I thought I would have to like rant about something else, but may I'll save that for another video. Uh, and yeah, that'll do it. Bye.